Live from the Northeast Comedy Cabaret, it's the Back to the Humor Show. Welcome to Back to the Humor. I'm Matt Reese with my esteemed co colleague, Josh Jackaboo. What's going on, Josh? Hey! 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 We have to do a couple splices here, I think. Man. We're not we're not off to a good start. What's up, Gallon? How you feeling today, buddy? All right. All right, Gallon. What's up, Josh? Ah. Hey! Yes, road rage is the key, man, because I got cut off left and right, but now I can't do anything about it because I put a sign in the back of my car, and he's got my phone number on it. So they can just call me! But I gotta say something, since we are in the Philadelphia area, Josh, that I am not happy about all these new pedestrian lights are putting up. It's really gonna kill my commute! Is this supposed to blink complete the lights? Allows yeah. people to just walk by? Well, see, no, no, no. Well, yeah, they're blinking now, but there's signs everywhere saying these will turn into real lights, like where they stop traffic so people can walk across the street. It takes me a half hour to get to my uh, place that I sometimes work at. So what's up with you, Josh, man? Yeah, how, how did I, blew, I, I blew the 30-day challenge day. Oh! oh. Those, who, those oh. Who, who, who are following along, I was going 30 days without masturbating. I got to day 24 on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Hashtag no masturbation. That's right. Pretty much my, my dick got caught inside the mattress. There's only one way to get it out. Mm. I had to pump it out and... Oh, one day it. to another, got and it. well, I'm starting over again. I'm on day three, but still. Sweet. So, 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 so basically, Josh, what you're saying is that you slipped, you fell, you fucked your mattress. That's right. Oh man, that happens to a lot of us. Hopefully, this accident doesn't lead to an unexpected pregnancy. You know, oh. you and your little mattress having a couple little, couple little cushions of your own. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, one to have and to hold and to snuggle against when you're sleeping. You know what I mean? Yeah. But so I will mention it. So you're supposed to bring it up. Say, hey, Matt, look, you're wearing a Disney World shirt. It says 2012. How was your trip? Gone there recently? How was your trip? Oh, it was great, Josh. It was great. It was great. Thanks for asking. Did you get any material out of this? I saw you post a lot of YouTube videos. I did. I did. I think I got a little material, a little material, some stuff, some stuff. Like, I don't know if it's going to be stage stuff or not, you know, but I mean, you know, I tried to hit on Pocahontas, you know what I mean? So that was a good story, but, you know, you know, I, I asked her for a phone number. Uh, but she said, uh, what's a phone? <laughs> what's a phone? I'm a Pocahontas. It's like, it's 1700s, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was good, man. I took my son and uh, my wife, you know. We yeah. drove there, so that was, uh, I, well, oh, did you, we mentioned we're doing a show on the September uh, 15th at the Grey Lodge Club. I didn't mention that yet, but let's get to that. Yes, and uh, like I said, I have it nice and uh, displayed on the back of my car, date and time. And I actually was, had the opportunity to promote that Hello, up and down the East Coast, from here to Florida, my friend, on the way to Disney, so, yeah! <laughs> Georgia, but, you know, my son was awesome. He, he's, like, seven years old, and he went with the flow. He was out swimming till like, two in the morning one night. One night, I'll tell you a quick one, I put him to sleep, and, like, and, like uh, he was out, cold. So five minutes later, I just hear, Buzz Lightyear! Just out of the blow. He was dreaming about Buzz. What, 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 what is this? Go hole! Josh, you gotta do it better than that. I, mean, I, was, like, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to hit you with that. Oh! <laughs> Dude, you gotta grab stage. my plate. My cookie. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Fat you Dog. That's it. Yeah, cut, paste, you're there. Alright. <laughs> physical comedy. No more physical comedy. Wait, Chris Farley here. Yeah, Chris Farley oh, here. Oh, somebody in the mood for the Vanessa Pizza Bar, my friend. Come here. Head out the oven. Oh, all this fighting has made me parched! Right, I, think, I think we have enough fans here. Should we bring up a guest? Do you want more sure, to Sure, sure, why not? All right, mystery guest, come on down, mystery guest! I'll go. Noah Houlihan! <laughs> it's Noah Houlihan! Oh, that Hulihan. is Noah Houlihan! Oh, is this where I go? I don't no, know. Well, you the empty, middle, sir. This is the empty seat. We're so I thought, yeah. all right, no pun. <laughs> there we yes. go. Come on yes. in, guys. Good evening. Yes. Don't, don't yes. fall. Congratulations on taking part of uh, No Fat September. Oh, you were still coming as well? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, I also decided to, uh, to participate in that. Really? So, Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw the... What's the longest, then? Would you like to discuss that? How, uh, your personal life, how long have you actually gone without masturbating since you started masturbating? Um, if, if we're going to get real deep into Let's this right deep. now, 
uh, uh, when I first did it, I thought I had invented it. I thought it was a new thing. <laughs> nice, nice. And like, was completely unprepared for the results. You had to tell the world. No, well, what happened was, like, I was just kind of like in my room thinking about stuff, and I was like, I gotta pee really bad. What is, oh, and then I felt real dizzy, and then I was like, I'm never doing that again. That was a, a horrible thing that happened. Yeah. And then, like, my friends were like, yeah, I found out you can just, you know, touch your own dick, and it's wonderful. I was like, oh, I did that! I did that a while ago! So, it was a couple, it was a couple months, I would say. <laughs> Yes. Wait, I get that. Yes. Two paps up. But uh, if you don't mind me going into this, sure. having, having a tough time with uh, with no fab September. Mm. Uh, if you, you know, join the support group if you guys haven't already. I can't. Uh, I'm married. <laughs> I, I but uh, uh, I'm trying uh, a a convention. You guys know I do conventions, right? As a comedian, mm -hmm. right. as part of Plus Two Comedy, uh, a convention has shown interest but has not, like, officially booked us yet. All right. And it is called the Geeky Kink event. All right. So basically they told me that I should post on their message board and say, you know, then see if there's interest. So I was like, yeah, Plus Two Comedy might be there. Who's interested? We got a few people interested. But then, like, under that is just, like, who wants to have kinky Pokemon battles where, you know, <laughs> Bulbasaur comes out with floggers and just beats the shit out of your dick. It's like, what? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Sounds like a show I would pay for. Yeah. Right, everybody? So, I have this issue where I'm trying to participate in NoFab September. Mm -hmm. Yet, every day, I'm like, I have to see how I'm doing on the message board. And I go to this message board, and, and it's just like oh, the craziest, sexiest things that you could possibly imagine. And then it's like, I want to do a comedy show. <laughs> is interested. So who's it? Plus two comedy. Is. Uh, plus two comedy is myself, uh, my best friend Will Liam, and mm -hmm. uh, my good buddy uh, T J Del Reno, who okay. you may know as the voice of the Capri Sun commercials. What? Yes. Yeah. Well, I know. Uh, I didn't know you were in show business. Oh yeah, like this you know guy. That, you know that. Respect the pouch. Respect it. That's yeah. my buddy T J. Okay. I owe him a quarter. Let's just say this guy, seeing his act, very talented. Very talented. Yes. Right. Yes. Very talented. Very talented. Appreciate funny. a handshake and not a cookie tin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, look at his face though, man. His face just says, hit me with a cookie tin. I know. You know if I, I mean? it's true. Like, I just don't have one. You're supposed to be wearing this, Josh. Come on. Oh. You gotta remind oh, me of these things. Sorry. Well, would you like to come and defend that at my wrestling federation? I would love to. Yeah. If you guys right, wait, wait. You know that I'm the biggest wrestling fan, and you just said you have a wrestling federation? Yes! Uh, All right, I you don't need to fap. I'll blow you. Hey, hey, hey! Slurp, 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 If you want slurp, something slurp, else slurp. plugged, uh, on uh, September 29th, it's mm -hmm. going to be uh, Beast Pro Wrestling. It's going to be our third show. Um, mm -hmm. Talks of uh, having Doink the Clown show up. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, ooh. I'm usually the ring announcer. I can't make this show. Oh. But uh, yeah, check out BeastProWrestling.com. Sweet. Be wait, what is it again? BeastProWrestling.com. BeastProWrestling.com. Google Beast Wrestling. Mm -hmm. And then find us on Facebook. It's so awesome. What are you going to be doing now? Are you, are you reffing? Or? Uh, I, I don't ref anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly it's just ring announcing. Yeah. And, uh, oh, sweet. I Google Beast Wrestling. And a soft core corn of Rosie O'Donnell popped up. Nah. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> but what, what did you say your greatest accomplishment in comedy? Is it Advancing the Philly's Funniest? Was that a big thing for you? Or uh, Advancing the Philly's Funniest, <laughs> see, it's tough to say, like, the my biggest advancement in comedy was when I only kind of lost in Philly's Funniest. Right. <laughs> That's not a really big, uh, good statement. You delayed the, uh, the loss. Yeah, I delayed you just the loss. Delayed a the little loss. Bit. It took longer for me to lose <laughs> versus other people. Nice. Um, let's see, my biggest, I would have to say, is uh, the Baltimore Convention Center for Otakon. I love my Otakon fans. Uh, sold out room, 700 people. Just uh, wonderful, wonderful times. So what goes on these nights? Do you actually do stand-up? Uh, what I usually do, uh, me and Plus Two Comedy, uh, we do uh, an hour of stand-up. Mm -hmm. uh, we each do 15 minutes, and then we do like a Q&A with the crowd. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff, and then we also do panels. Uh, for those of you who want to book Plus Two Comedy, we also do the dating game. Uh, we also do uh, a panel called uh, Beyond the Tentacle, which is about Japanese fetishes nice, besides nice. the tentacle. 
so that's always fun. Uh, what is that finish called? The My Little Pony. What was that thing called? Did you uh, hear about that? The My Little Pony. Bro Remember? Bro 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 yeah, yeah, Bro yeah, Bro yeah. Yes. That's, that, that's just normal, here, right? This. That's just normal when someone brings that up. Like, yeah. people expect you to be kind of shocked, and you're just like, yeah, I heard about that, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're yeah. Well, I'm not, not into, into it, but you I'm know just, about I it. I just know of it. By far, the worst one that we've ever covered was Vore, which is mm -hmm. being sexually turned on by being uh, swallowed and digested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just drew a new fetish for all the people watching. Sounds like a Saturday night with me with a fat chick. Hey! Hey! Happy to be everybody. Yes, See, the, the problem with my, my group is we're really, really popular in, like, Maryland Possibly. and Ohio. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I got nothing here. <laughs> so I got to come to... A bunch know, of farmer's daughters yeah. liking your shit. <laughs> well, if you want to hear a good story, uh, we did... Uh, we did a show. Uh, I was dressed as Speed Racer in uh, Syracuse, which uh, we're heading back to uh, September 29th. I won't be there, unfortunately. But Plus Two Comedy will be there. We showed up, I'm dressed as Speed Racer, driving the car, and I look out and I was like, hey, we're here for uh, Anime Syracuse, uh, where do you want us to park? And the guy just looked at us and went, yeah, we're going to have you park over there by the gun show. Oh. And I was like, what? It's <laughs> like, yeah, there's a gun show going on over there. Why don't, why don't you go park over there by them? So I'm just imagining like these people with guns, like, yeah, check out this guy. Yeah, there's a couple, there's like 18 caliber, this is good. Look at that, look at that. I think that's a grown man dressed in a kitty cat costume. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna get him from my wall. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, a, that was a fun time. Anime Syracuse, September 29th. Uh, just, you're lucky I'm to just throwing out stuff. all my plugs right now. Well, that's what we're plug horse here at Back of the Year. We're plug, plug, plug horse. I have one last question for you. Hashtag right? plug horse. You seem like a naturally funny guy. I think when I first met you, you were telling me that the, the book Judy Carter wrote. Yes, uh, comedy book. You said that helped you. Do you really think so? Because I feel, I, I don't know about, it helps you with structures, right? I feel like. Yeah, because mm -hmm. basically it's really easy to be the funny guy at the water cooler with, you know, and, or the funny guy at your party. Right. But like, that is a completely different monster than mm -hmm. getting up on stage and doing this. Mm -hmm. And basically, the book helped me realize that half the stuff I'd already written was garbage and not going to work. So I didn't have those, that stage where I was up there telling a really long story with no payoff. Nice. And then just eating shit and wanting to quit comedy. Yeah. So I was able to cut a lot of stuff out. I highly recommend, see I read books just constantly. Uh, I've also read uh, The Everything Guide to Comedy and uh, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Comedy, which I is a British book. Those. I highly recommend that one just because it's a little bit different. Because have you read that How to Sample Comedy, written by Ben Sia? I did read the forward by Dane Cook. Hey! hey. hey. What a score close! We're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much. All right. 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 All